Hello internet and welcome back to Dark Diode, here with another episode of Friend Bo. We need to take a look and talk to these people because I have no idea who they are. Oh, that creature's body is made out of baby faces. Do I know you from somewhere? You took something from me, didn't you? You little thief. Where's my knitting needle? Ah, did you stab all your little friends with it? What? What? Knitting needle? Are you the dead nurse I saw back in the Oswald Asylum? Do I look dead to you, ah? Uh, you little beast. Take a number, would you? And wait for your turn in the waiting line. But, Miss Nurse, I don't need medical attention. I just want to find my kitty. Take a number and wait. I won't repeat myself. Okay, let's take a number. What number did we get? 07. Let's take a number. Hope I get a good one. Well, I assume that we can't wait forever, so let's check out room 106, if it's open to us. It's locked, but it doesn't have a keyhole. Alright, so we can't unlock that door for now. Who are these people? Ah, I wonder how long I must wait now. Hours, maybe days. Ah, I've been waiting for a week now. How long has everyone been waiting? Hmm, I've been waiting for like a month. I have number two, so it must be my turn very soon. I have been waiting for three and a half weeks. Totally hopeless. Ahem. Excuse me, everyone, but is there a way to make things faster? Yes, become a duck yourself. That would be faster. By doing that, you can also help us all. But why won't you become a doctor yourself then? I can't because I feel very sick. I can't. My R eye is blinded. I have this broken horn, you see. I can't be a doctor. It's something I skipped it. God damn it. And I can't remember the voices I gave. God, so many voices. Why? I have this exact same problem. Doki doki. Thought I could escape it. Neither can I. Lost my ability to frighten myself in front of the mirror. Well, I'm not sick at all. Please let me go before you, okay? I can't. I don't even know what illness I have. That's why I'm here. Hmm. But how can you not know? Do you feel pain somewhere? That's a very hard question. Make it softer. How can I make a question softer? That's very strange. Hey, have you tried pulling your eyes off? It helps sometimes. Ah, oh, enough. It's impossible to talk sense with any of you. Of course you can't make sense of us. You're not the one that sees it all. We've only known us for a few minutes. That's very little time to understand it all. Mm, that's true, but it would be nice to use some common sense. Why? What does common sense do that uncommon sense doesn't? Well, it helps to, uh, to better understand each other. We do understand each other very well with our un uncommon sense anyway. Yes, we actually do. We do respect differences. Hmm, but who is the one that sees it all then? You mean Mabuka? No, Mabuka knows everything. It's not the same as seeing everything. Now, I want to wait because talking won't make the way go faster. Oh, alright. Thank you for nothing. Fucking shitbags. That changes number. This must be the number display. Is there a way that I can speed it up then? Could I attach this to it and say, Oh, look, it's my turn! Oh, wait, yeah, he has number one. Okay. You see the screen? I have number two. It's almost my turn. Would it be possible to exchange our tickets? I have number seven. No, I need to know if I'm in pain. I need to know what illnesses I have. What if I find out what illnesses you have? Would you then give me your ticket? Sure. But I'm still here when you come back. Excuse me, I need your help. Of course you do. What can I do for you? Can you tell me what illness the creature who has ticket number two suffers? He's in the waiting room waiting. Hmm, let me see. Ah, I see him, but from what I see, it's not really an illness. It's just a headache caused by the low levels of agony in him. Well, but is it possible to help him somehow? I need his ticket. Yes, crying all the tears you can until you fill this bottle will do it. But don't forget that tears must be caused by real sorrow. That won't be a problem. I'm in a very problematic point in my life. I thought everything was going to be better when Kitty and I got home. Now, everything is so confusing. Aunt Grace is totally crazy. 
talking to her was horrible. I really trusted her. I, I don't know what to do now. Mabuka said that I was selected for something, but she fell asleep again and won't answer my questions. I need my kitty. Mr. Midnight's hugs are the biggest comfort in my life. I just want to find him so we can go back to a thirst and be happy. There we go. Hmm. Lovely pain. So profound. Okay, so now we give it to the guy. And we continue on. The bottle is now full of your tears. Give it to the critter that has your ticket. Go now. Time does not wait for anybody. Thank you. I'll be going now. Goodbye. Alright, let's go back to the patient and give him the bottle to relieve him of his headache. Hey buddy, do you want a bottle of tears? I, I reckon it'll cure you. Yeah, drink this, you'll feel much better. Oh, try to poison me! Ha ha ha! How lovely, let's see. It tastes like the most profound and darkest elixir I've ever tasted before! Give me more, give me more! No, leave me alone. You promised to give me the ticket if I helped you. Alright, alright. There you go. Alright, now we have number two. And thank you, your tears taste absolutely delicious. Wait, so he knew it was our tears? Okay, um... Oh, now it's us. Let's go. How convenient. Can we just go right in? Surely we can just go right in, right? Alright, maybe we can give it to the nurse. A nurse! Hello, patient number two. We're gonna do all we can to save you. You have an appointment? Well, not really. You told me to take a number and wait. I'm sorry, we don't help sick people without an appointment. But I'm not sick. I lost my kitty. I just want to find him. I lost kitty. Don't worry. That's a natural reaction of your sickness. Lucky though. Many lose their mind instead. Huh, lucky. But how do I get an appointment then? Oh, just call me. Here's my card with the telephone number. Oh, that's what we do. But why must I call you? Why can't you just make an appointment now? Oh, that would be silly, because now I'm waiting for you to call me. Ah, alright, I'll go and make the call then. Fucking bitch. Can't just do simple things. Probably a government worker. Can we go to the phone and then, uh, I don't even remember what it is. 0-1-2-2-1-2-1-7-2-7-6 Oh, cool, it has it to the side so that we don't need to look. Alright. Hello, Miss Nurse. It's the person that you spoke to before. Oh, hello. Yes, you told me to call to make an appointment. Mm, it's Franbo. Uh-huh. Um, I'm available now. No, no. Uh, no. Yes, I do have a pair of eyes. Really? Okay. I'll see you in a minute then. Great, great. Thank you. Bye bye. Yes, bye. Okay, finally. Now we can continue on and see a doctor and hopefully find our kitty cat. And now we just talk to her again. Is that what we're doing? Is that what we're doing? Hello, patient number two. Yeah, you have an appointment. Yes, Frambo is my name and the appointment is now. Let me check the archives. Yes, there you are. Doctor will see you in a minute. Just go through the door to your right. Alright, thank you. Let's go through. Oh, hey buddy, what's up? I'm sorry, did I scare you? You look quite pallid. Phew. Yes, yes. What a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. Oh, thank you, I guess. Now, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. I don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. Okay, that's... Here's the point. Oh, hi, buddy! You haven't chosen to end your life yet? Isn't that pain you feel enough? You're Remor, aren't you? I haven't gotten the chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly, I cannot be seen in the third reality for long periods of time. I am Remor, the terrible black prince of darkness. I know who you are. Don't you try to act like nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Where's my cat? What did you do to Dr. Dern? I enjoy immensely seeing your suffering dripping off of your eyes. I feed from it. You're the manifestation of my desires. I can use you for whatever I want. You are under my power. 
That's not true. Not anymore. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. Tell me, why'd you kill my parents? Why? You are assuming that it was I who did such a terrible thing. I saw you that night outside my window. It must be you who did it. You trust your eyes far too much. Have you learned that human receptors are weak? Your body is fragile, easy to corrupt. What's happening here? Whoa. What, what? What, what is going on here? No, it can't be, you stop it. I didn't have a knife on that night. And it looks like the exact same knife that we have right now. I didn't do it, I, I didn't. It wasn't me, stop it please. And I mean, could a knife cut so cleanly? Actually, it doesn't even look that clean. Like, these bones kind of sticking out. Who was it, my darling? Who killed your parents? The dull little critter must suffer and die before becoming a star. Nah, man, I don't, I don't believe it. No way that that's what happened. This guy's just trying to trick us. He's probably the one who actually killed them. I haven't killed my parents. I haven't. That monster wants to trick me. I know. Everyone is crazy around here. I have to find Kitty and leave. Can't get up? Okay, come on. Fran, though, so close to finishing. What's through here? Whoa. Dr. Dern. What are you doing here? Kitty, my darling, I'm here for you. Are you all right? Kitty, answer me. What's wrong with you? Meow. Meow. Why won't you talk to me, Mr. Midnight? Please, don't do this to me. Purr. Talk to me, Mr. Midnight. This isn't funny. It's this place, isn't it? You must get out of here so you can talk to me again. I'll take you to a thirster, my darling. Polontris can help us. I promise you, nothing will tear us apart again. Meow. Oh, kitty. I'll be right back. I must help Dr. Dr. Dern, alright? He seems to be in a little bit of trouble right now. What's this? A uh, syringe. It has a red fluid inside. What could it possibly be? I don't need this. Okay, fine. Don't take it. Dr. Dern? Are you alright, sir? Sir? Wake up! Please, Dr. Dern, wake up! Are you alive? Sir? Well, judging by the fact that he's moving, I will assume that he's alive. Ah, uh, what should I do to wake him up? We give him the red fluid? We give ourselves the red fluid? No, we can't. He, <laughs> maybe this will wake him up. Oh, Fran's face right now. Oh, what is that doing? Ah, damn. What was that? Don't worry, Dr. Dern, it's me, Fran. Ah, uh, what? I can't see very well. Fran Bo, sir, from the Oswald Asylum. We were at the cemetery, remember? Fran, what happened? Why am I tied to a chair? What have you done? Oh, I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought you here. You need to go. Come on, Fran. Monsters? I don't feel like playing games. Alright, it wasn't a monster at all. Just let me help you. Who are you? What? But, but, are you... Wait, that's the Aunt Grace. But what is she doing here? I thought you chained her. Ah, but I did. You told... I told you she was a hard one to tame. Don't mean to get rid of her. Get rid of me? Aunt Grace, what are you talking about? Why are you talking like that? Who is this old man? How lovely. You sound just like your mother when she was young. My mother? Do you know her? Who are you? I'm Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, Fran. Oswald? From Oswald Asylum? Yes, Fran. Same old man. But why do you know about my mother and my aunt? Well, many years ago, I was studying the magnificent complexity of twin siblings. Lucio and Grace were part of my study. Both helped me to find the keys to success. The key? The key? Mm, did you know that my mother and father were murdered? Yes, of course. Remor did a great job. His power of manipulation is extraordinary. What I don't understand is how you can be so calm about it. It was you holding that knife, after all. I'm not calm, sir. The neurons remember all the time. 
But why does he hurt me? Remora is the manifestation of your weakness. A blinded and powerful manifestation of your fears. But why would the monster kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work. But I actually did you a favor. You are suffering. And pain is connected to growth and strength, Fran. Oswald, please. Let's just do what we need to do. Hunt Grace, please don't be mad at me. We're family. Let us go. My kitty and I can find a place to go without bothering you. Please, just let us go. Yes. You're right, Fran. I'm sorry for being so hard on you. Come on, let's go now. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing, Mr. Midnight? You can't just take Mr. Midnight to Mr. Midnight's house. What are you doing? Okay, can we go and check him out? What? Well, you're not going to drop Mr. Midnight, are you? Don't do it. Don't you dare do it. Friend, my dear, listen to me. You must know, Dr. Oswald only wants the best for you. When Lucia was pregnant with you, he knew you'd be a very special girl. He told us to take good care of you. But your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. She thought we wanted to kill you. That's not true. Dr. Oswald really wants to give you the best. But for that, you must allow him to try a little experiment on you. And then everything will be fine? Of course. But there is still one thing we must take care of. This little traitor must go. What, 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 but Mr. Midnight, no! Mr. Midnight! No, not like this. No, no, you kitty. No, but what's going to happen to Mr. Midnight? Oh my god. Come on, friend. Stop weeping. The cat is dead now. But he was my friend. You killed my best friend. You also helped to kill my parents, didn't you? Didn't you? How can you live with yourself? I hate you. Ah. I hate you! Whoa, Fran Bo. St uh, stop it, Fran! Help! Help! Please help! Place is shaking her out. Oh, hey, it's Dr. Oswald. Whoa! Where'd you get a gun from? Don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster. Whoa! Wait, you just shot me? Oh no. Oh my god, what is gonna happen? Oh my goodness. She's totally insane. Bring her to me. I'll do the experiment while she's still warm. I need to extract the brain right away. Wait, what? Bran? Are you alright? What have you done with her? She tried to kill me. You were right about Fran, Dr. Dern. She was sick. But she's bleeding. Let me take care of her. No, you won't. She's mine now. I've been waiting for this moment for many years now. Looking for the right child. The right brain. Now that I have her, nothing can stop me. Oh, hey. Skeleton guy. Oh, I guess he's a Jedi as well. Who would have thought? Oh, Fran. Everything will be alright. Who? Who are you? I'm Itwood. The one many children talk about. But, but, you're not human. Hector bro, Hector bro de Belontrius Monarchist. Goska, it would, I found him. Oh my goodness, stay away from the girl, leave her alone. Hey, it's Mr. Midnight. So I guess he is still alive. I guess everything will work out after all. Little friend must be cured. Do you think you can use the same body? Yes, she's not completely gone yet. Here I go. Oh, Mother Mabuka, you took the innocence of the child. Fran is now dead and alive. Wake up in darkness, Fran, and you'll be able to walk towards light. What is that thing? Is that the bullets? Are they physically extracting the bullets? Or is that meant to be a soul or what? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, what happened? It would. Polontris. My head hurts. Mr. Midnight, how? You're alive, my kitty. 
I missed you so much. Please tell me something. Fran, we must go now. Go? All right. Dr. Dern, look, this is it with Empolontris. I told you about them, remember? I told you they were real. See? Can you believe me now? <laughs> he's like, what the fuck, man? I'm like, oh, actually, no, he's like bleeding from his eyes. He can't hear you. I think he's under the power of Mamuka now. We really must leave now. But can you come with us, please? He's been really nice to me. He really wanted to protect and help me. We can't bring him with us. I'm sorry. But, we ca but what we can do is make him believe that all of this was a dream. He will wake up and think none of this really happened. But he won't remember you, friend. I see. Well, that's okay, I guess. As long as he's safe. That's very kind. You've finally seen some... You've finally seen beyond your own desires. You're becoming one with everything. Your parents would be very proud of you. You really think so? Oh, thank you, Polontris. Okay, but we gotta get out of here. Now let's send Dr. Dern home. Marcel Dern onum, vec ma sonnum sly actor. And goodbye, buddy. Goodbye, Dr. Dern. Let's go now, friend. There's so much you must see and learn. Hee <laughs> hee, that sounds like fun. Let's go, kitty. I mean, we've already learned a ton. We've already seen a ton as well. I still don't know how many things. But one thing I do know... Is that... That between guilt and fear... I chose happiness. Oh, sweet. So, we're getting out of the fifth reality. I guess. Somehow, his machine is no longer broken. Kind of confused about that. I wonder how he repaired his machine. Where did he, like, end up? Oh, wait. This is the end. I got an achievement called The End. What a... What a... <laughs> what a game. Alright, I'll, I'll just let this go and then I'll be back.
Oh, well, there we go. Back to the main menu. And now we've got eight chapters. Okay, so I guess we can... Okay, so we can go back to specific parts and I guess go for all the achievements. But uh, I'm not going to do... <laughs> not going to do that right here. Uh, Just, I guess I'll just stay here. I'm going to have this background music while I talk. Anyway, so I haven't played... I haven't, like, to preface, I haven't played a great deal of point-and-click games, so I can't, like, I don't have the references, like, reference points to say whether this was a good or a bad experience in terms of point-and-click, but what I'm gonna do is instead I'll talk about how I felt, as, uh, how I felt about this as a game. So, my biggest critique about this is what I would assume would be the same with other point and click games is that some stuff felt pretty unintuitive. Some of the puzzles, like not not necessarily the puzzles, it's more trying to figure out where all the items are because sometimes, especially back in, I think it was Act 2 or something like that with a big ant, I was looking for like 20 or 30 minutes for this specific item that I missed in the very first section because I didn't click spam all around. And that's probably my biggest fault with this game and with point and click games in general is that you may, like, you don't even know if you have all the things required or not in order to proceed and if you don't have all the items, the game doesn't give you many hints. Like, sure, they give you some hints. I think the most intuitive part... I, 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 I don't know. It Because each act had some intuitive sections, other times not so intuitive. And I had definitely had to look up a guide some parts here and there because it was a wee bit difficult and if I hadn't looked up a guide I probably would still be stuck right now on how to do certain things here and there but be, uh, <laughs> besides that the story it's um it's it's pretty cool I wouldn't say that you know it's the best I've ever, I've ever seen. Uh, we don't really get to learn too much about the background of any character, really. I mean, aside for Frambo, Frambo, like, we know about the death of her parents, but we don't really know that much beyond that point. And none of the characters really have their backgrounds explained. The sisters do, to an extent. Mr. Skeleton does, to an extent, but not really. All we know is that he's some manifestation for the twins and Fran Bo. But everyone else really is just kind of lacking that characterization to make them feel deep. They feel forgettable, right? I don't even really remember the names is what <laughs> I would say right now as I'm trying to think about things. The graphics in this game, it's because nowadays most games are kind of like uh, pixel-esque and it's kind of a nice departure having graphics if they're not, you know, realistic. They're meant to be cartoony and I appreciate that. I appreciate the art style and the effort that went into the music and into the art style. I think that's one of Franbo's best points the art style because it changes so differently and you do feel like each act is its own separate thing uh let's see is there anything else is there anything else right that's the other thing some of the games that I've played before some of the RPG mega horrors they've been pretty short Franbo I reckon is a pretty good length for the price that it wants you to pay. This is 
uh, episode 17, I think. It's either 16 or 17 this episode is. And that's a solid amount of episodes when usually a uh, horror series is less than 10. Right. And so I'm pretty happy with this series in terms of its length. It definitely provided me with um, a good sense of, you know, start to finish. It The ending wasn't just abrupt. It didn't happen out of nowhere. And the next thing that I wanted to talk about briefly is horror. How does it stack up as a horror game? And to that, it's got horror themes, but it's not really a horror game, right? It's definitely gory. It's, it's, it's got gore and the themes are unsettling, but the game as a whole, it didn't scare me. There weren't any jump scares. It wasn't even really that creepy. I'm going to be honest. I didn't feel on edge at any point. And, you know, for me, I wanted to have a bit more scariness to the game. But for some other people that don't enjoy that as much, this game could be quite nice. You know, everything, like... For people who want to experience kind of horror themes, but don't want to get jump scared and all of that kind of stuff, this game would be perfectly suitable for people like that. But, you know, I, I like a good jump scare here and there, and I like a good creepy atmosphere from time to time, not all the time, because that gets to me, and, you know, it's good game design to kind of have peaks and troughs of anticipation and uh, creeped, creeped out nurse because I forgot the word I was going to use. Anyway, this is the end of Fran Bo. I hope you enjoyed the series so far. I'm happy to announce that the next game to be featured on this channel will be Detention, which is a uh, Japanese, another, <laughs> well, I want to say another Japanese horror point and click, but it's not because this game is in Japanese, right? So, I'll instead I'll say, another point-and-click horror game that's also Japanese. <laughs> there we go, that's what I wanted to say. But, Detention will be on this channel next. So, I hope you enjoy this episode. And if you want to stay tuned for Detention, make sure to subscribe too. And I'll see you all in the next video.